The African delegates were delighted with the outcome of the Johannesburg summit. They expressed their appreciation for China's long-standing efforts to conduct cooperation with Africa on the principles of equality and mutual benefit. China was hailed as the most trustworthy partner of Africa. 92-year-old Robert Mugabe, the president of Zimbabwe, made these impromptu remarks after President Xi had finished speaking. Once called poor, a country which never was our colonizer. He is doing to us what we expected those who colonized us yesterday to do. Let them, <clears throat> if they have ears to hear, let them hear. Industrialization plan is something that I believe is going a long way towards helping us achieve sustainable development, uh, eliminate poverty, and constructively engage the young talent that we have on, on the African continent. And this is something most of us are very excited about. Well, I think overall, uh, the President Xi Jinping's speech was very inspiring. Uh, in the sense that he talked about alignment and uh, complementary uh, development paths of Africa and China. And he announced a lot of programs ranging from uh, agriculture for, to infrastructure, energy, uh, training, industrialization, making sure that the industrialization takes place in, a, in, a, in an environment that preserves our ecology and our environment. So it was a, a speech of a partner and it, it showed a very strong um, commitment of China to developing together with Africa, uh, but also it showed um, a new level of uh, FOCAC. As he himself said, we must scale the heights and look ahead. Both China and the countries of Africa were once poor and weak. Now, after standing shoulder to shoulder through the storms and trials of 60 years, they have become engines of development. The world is changing and China and Africa are developing rapidly. Like brothers, they have always trusted and helped each other. True friendship is eternal and not affected by time or distance. In the 21st century, China has begun to readjust its economic structure and cut excess industrial capacity. At the same time, most countries in Africa have begun to accelerate their industrialization and modernization. Their individual strategies are highly complementary and present an historic opportunity for mutual cooperation and development. China will stand by its Africa policy it will continue to uphold justice and promote the interests of the African continent. And it will strive to promote mutual benefit and development. In this way, it will help to build a brighter future for Africa.